one of the early rumors that drips out uh, in the newsletter is that the show is considered, um, or one of the names that were being considered, rather, was Head to Head. Did you ever hear that? No, not at all. Uh, a lot of guys are starting to think that this is uh, suicidal to go head to head with the WWF because at the time it's the highest rated wrestling show in the country. And Meltzer even writes, while the show amounts to the start of another avenue of a wrestling war, uh, it also, if WCW can't draw in that time slot, may be Bischoff giving himself enough rope to hang himself. Uh, yeah. Was that the general feeling about going head to head with Raw that if this doesn't work, Bischoff's out? Because WCW had had a lot of turnover in that spot in the years prior. Is this viewed as it could be the nail in the coffin? No, I don't think. I don't think so. I think Bischoff had done more than anyone had done in that spot ever, right? Uh, in, including bringing in Hogan. And I think if you look at the numbers that uh, we were on the upswing since the arrival of Hulk Hogan. So I don't think it was a nail in the coffin for Eric Bischoff. Uh, I, I think it was viewed as a, a, a risky move, but a move that we all thought would work. You know, Eric and I, uh, Conrad, and I'm thinking this was the day before, had lunch at a restaurant in uh, in the Mall of America. And he said that he thought that there was a rating point out there of a five that – could be split between the two companies that we could get on a consistent basis, like a three, one and Vince could get like a one nine. Uh, well, obviously it didn't much better business than that, but he went in into it looking to split that number that Vince was drawing when in effect it, it helped everybody. And, um, the ratings certainly exploded after that, uh, for both companies. So I think he was, I think he went into it not thinking that he was going to conquer the world, but thinking that he would draw some of that number of viewers that regularly tuned in to a Monday night wrestling event. Was it that risky for him? Sure, it was risky, but I don't think it was risky to the point to where they were going to say, okay, fuck you, take off. Because who else is going to run the company? In the company, um, what's the general feeling about going head to head with Raw? Do you remember anybody specifically being for or against the idea? Uh, I don't remember anybody being against it that I talked to. I think we were all for it. I know we were all for it. Uh, we wanted to compete. We wanted to see what we could do, and uh, I think we were all pretty excited about it. So Bischoff believes this to be a little bit of a blank slate for Nitro since it's a brand new show, and he starts to utilize some of Turner's resources to do research for what wrestling fans enjoy watching. And uh, he feels that the research shows that the right combination or the right mix of pro-WWF and then pro-WCW and then something as a third component to get viewers who had long since given up on watching wrestling to tune back in would satisfy the appetite and specifically what Eric says the research supports uh, is questions like what do you like about professional wrestling and the consistent answer he gets is something along the lines of I like it when it's unpredictable Uh, he wrote in his book that the words unpredictable and spontaneous popped up over and over in this research Tony you're an old school wrestling fan do you agree with this research that unpredictability is paramount in wrestling I think it's a key opponent uh, unpredictability, uh, and I've always thought that I, you know, being an old school guy, I, I like to see good solid matches, but yeah, unpredictability is, is very important. You know, Eric was very, very involved in that research. Conrad, uh, we had focus groups. I remember, and this was, this was even before, uh, thunder or and nitro, uh, we had focus groups that I set in on and listening to people talk about what they wanted and then Eric would go out and talk with them afterwards. Uh, and a lot of the things that they talked about was being spontaneous, being unpredictable. Uh, so, yeah, he's right. He's right about all that. 